I am determined to make this the video that I wish I had seen while I was trying to get an internship and before I became an intern. This video is gonna take you through the before, the getting the internship, the during, so like how to be not only the best intern, but to get the most out of it for your professional development, and the after and the reflections. I really hope it's useful. I'm so passionate about young people going out there, being proactive, getting the experience they want. And you guys are amazing, and I genuinely want you to get that necessary experience to get the career that you wanna have. Okay, so if you've been following me for a while, you know that I go to an interesting, weird university called Minerva, and Minerva is so focused on professional development and getting practical experience within the city that we're in. We also had like a career life coach and we would have to see them multiple times in the year. We'd have to detail our goals, the professional goals, for example, the kind of things that I wanted to get out of this summer professionally. And something this process made me realize is that even if you don't know specifically the career that you want to go into, there are so many skills which are transferable to any job sector, which you can learn through doing work experience doing an internship in a sector which might seem unrelated. So my first tip for focus and clarity in this process is to not only define ideally the sector that you'd like to get experience in or the company, but also to really highlight to yourself, what do I wanna learn? What skills am I trying to perfect? Is it the softer skills like working in a team and having a manager and mentorship? Do you eventually wanna be a software engineer and coding is just really necessary for you? Like even if you don't know the career or the sector, what are those skills you wanna learn? Because at the end of the day, there are so many companies, so many types of internships and it can feel quite overwhelming to know where to start. So hone it down. And my second tip is probably gonna go against what you've heard a lot. A lot of career advisors say, send out 100, 200, 300, emails emails, applications, and I think this is really counterproductive. I think instead of casting your net so wide and not taking the time to carve your application to each one individually, be selective, but go at it with full force. For example, you know that you would love an internship at this one specific company. And here's the thing, 85% of jobs are not gotten through the application process set up by the company. Instead, they're gotten through personal contacts and relationships with people in the company. And often, internships don't exist. They are created by the company for the person applying. And you might be thinking, I don't know anyone at the company that I wanna work at. If it's a matter of who I know, then I've already failed. No, you haven't. We live in the most connected world than ever before. LinkedIn is your best friend. Find the company you wanna work at, find some people who work there, send them a message. I'm not even kidding, it's, it feels scary, the whole cold email, cold message, do it. Find them on Instagram, find them on Twitter, send them a meaningful, well-worded message about how you'd like to have an informational interview with them. So the idea of an informational interview is that there's no strings attached, you're not trying to get an internship, you're not trying to fight for anything. It's just like a half hour call with structured questions where you can learn about their profession and their experience. And the thing is, most professionals love talking about themselves and their journeys. And this is where you can slot yourself in and start to prove yourself as someone who is knowledgeable about the industry, about the company, slot in details about your life and things that you have done in this conversation to hopefully make a good impression on this person. And this also goes for networking events. For example, if there is a panel and there is a speaker on the panel who you love and you want to network with them, you love the company they work for, be bold. Afterwards, find them, ask if you can set up an informational interview with them or even right there and then, Ask them meaningful questions that make them think, that make them see that you are a considered individual. Get their email and then instead of pestering them, send them things that you genuinely think will be helpful to them. For example, if this is a company that you really wanna work at, maybe you found an article that's really relevant to what they do and you think that the founder might find it useful to look at. Be like, oh hey, I saw this and thought of you. I personally thought X, Y, Z about this article. I think it could relate to your company. ABC, send it to them, hope for a response. And if you do this multiple times throughout the year, you might be able to not only hopefully build that better working relationship connection, but this is how people create internships for themselves at the companies they actually wanna work at. It is by starting to be known by someone in the company as someone who is proactive, genuinely interested, reliable, get to know you as a person. And this is also how someone with hardly any experience in a sector can get these amazing internships is by 
just showing that you're enthusiastic and passionate. And it sounds idealistic, but it has happened to so many of my friends. It's how one of my closest Minerva friends became best friends with the guy who created Wally at Pixar because she met him at an event, networked, kept in touch and developed this mentorship relationship. It's how someone else I'm super close to created an internship for himself as a software engineer intern, even though he's not studied anything in computer science and he's now like leagues ahead in terms of experience. Companies are made of people, get to know the people, you can get an internship. Okay, so that's the more untraditional route, but let's think you're applying for an internship in the traditional route. You've seen the application process. To find listings of internships, you can go direct to the company or you can use a site like Handshake or Indeed. You've got to sell yourself in a CV, resume or a cover letter. Kind of awkward and cringy, but I genuinely want to help. I have put my resources for my marketing internship down below, my cover letter and my resume slightly edited. I'm so happy for you guys to use this as a template to craft your own CV, just to see what one looks like. And I know it's so tempting to throw loads of color and make it pages long to show yourself off. Don't be boring black and white professional, be so concise, put it on one page. Recruiters just don't have time. And another crucial piece of advice, which a lot of people overlook is make sure to edit your internship application to whatever you're applying for. If you're applying for marketing, twist all the experience that you have to show how it relates to marketing. It's kind of like a personal statement. If you're applying for biology, turn that Saturday job into something relevant to biology, you know? And for the cover letter, this is an opportunity to showcase something that you didn't have space to put on your resume, but also is an opportunity for you to show that you have researched the company. You might even have a suggestion for them. And when people chuck out a thousand applications to different internships, they're not tailoring it to the companies. They're not even maybe necessarily tailoring it to the exact sector. So they're probably not gonna get hired as much as someone who's really made sure to craft it to what that company is looking for. I'm not gonna go too much into CV writing in this video, but just concise, make it clear by including numbers, include so many numbers. Like how many people were in that team that you managed? How much money did you raise? Don't say the like fluffy terms like, I have key communication skills, like what communication skills and show rather than tell. Okay, so hopefully you have landed an internship. I'm not gonna talk about the interview process in this video, but let me know if you would like a video on that. Okay, just before you start your internship, make sure that you do some research on the industry, the company's competitors, the hierarchy of the company, the people in the team, look them up on LinkedIn, maybe look at some of their experience. The more informed you come in, the better you look and already you can start to highlight some people that you would love to connect with and learn from during the internship. I've got 10 rapid fire pieces of advice to give you for during the internship. Number one, set your personal goals at the start. What are your desired points of growth? What do you want to get out of this internship? What do you want to learn? What do you want to develop in? Because if you don't even know, you're going to end up only doing like admin tasks and not being clear with your manager and, and then they can't help you grow in the way that's going to benefit you most. Have at least a rough idea of what you want to get out of it. And then communicate this to your manager and they will be really impressed to see how invested you are, not only in your own personal growth, but in how it relates to the company. Number two, develop a working style with you and your manager or the team. For example, I have an Asana board, which I use with my manager in, in this marketing internship. It is my life. It is amazing. It's collaborative. She can see what I'm getting up to. I use it as a to-do list tracker. I can set my tasks for the week and also set up your mode of communication with your manager. So how? Is it going to be like a Slack? Is it going to be email? Is it more informal, formal? How often? And is there a particular time that your manager likes to be communicated with? And then I highly, highly, highly recommend setting up a one-to-one, -one. preferably weekly or as often as you would like. But I have this with my manager and I think it is the most important time to set up a more personal relationship, to understand what you're doing well, what you're doing wrong, to discuss anything you're confused about, to learn, to ask questions, to get feedback, or equally you can find another person who you want to learn from as a mentor, set up a one-to-one -one with them consistently, put it in your Google calendars mutually and just set it for each week and then it'll just be there. I also wanna say, I know I'm saying all of this like it's really easy to be confident and to ask and make these requests, but I think your manager will love it to see that you've really considered this internship Try to take it seriously. You want to learn, you want to grow. Like it's, it's a positive, not a negative ask. Number three, stay organized in your workflow and have a working habit or a schedule. Meet your deadlines. Like you're an intern, you are fighting for a good reputation. If you have to stay extra hours or work extra hours, 
within reason, I say do it. I say show your proactivity, especially in competitive careers where other interns are trying to get the job too. You need to prove that you wanna be here. Obviously don't be exploited, like don't work crazy hours that you're not paid for, but do put in the effort. Going along with that, be proactive. If you've got an interesting idea for a project that you really think will benefit the company, suggest it. I dare you, like in that team meeting, I dare you. If it gets shot down, fine, we move, it's okay. But suggesting ideas makes you a valuable member of the team. Also, it's good to work out what kind of management style you like. Do you like a lot of hand-holding, micromanaging? Do you like to just get on with it more yourself and like communicate that to your manager and see how they would prefer you to work? Number five is the most essential thing ever in an internship and that is communication. In terms of feedback, meeting deadlines, getting like everything. Communication, if you're struggling, if you feel like you're doing well, communication. You're a person, the people in your internship are people and you want to build a relationship with them that goes beyond just submitting the work that you need to do. Also going along with that, be social. I know this can be hard but for example my team have remote water coolers and like chill socials. They're optional, I don't have to go to them but I make an effort to because the meetings where you're not just talking about work are where you become memorable and people like you more because you are putting in an effort and they get to know you as a person. So especially if you're looking to work at this company long term, make the effort to make your colleagues friends. And it also makes work feel more chill because you really know the people. Don't be afraid to ask for help. This is one of the biggest mistakes I made when I was doing veterinary work experience. I just when I didn't know what to do, I just stood there like a shadow. And I just sort of watched awkwardly or I persevered but got everything wrong and like didn't really improve because I was just scared to ask. They want to help you, they want you to grow, just ask. Number nine, consistently ask for feedback. In that one-to-one -one meeting, ask how you can improve, what you can do better. Going along with this, schedule a mid-internship review at the start. I had one with my manager last week and it's so crucial because it allowed my manager to write three long paragraphs about what I've done well, three long paragraphs about how I can improve. And that helps you so much in your working life to know where you're at. And also I wrote one for my manager and I think it helps her become a better mentor, which feels like she's growing in this relationship and everyone wants to grow. And lastly, number 10, document everything you're doing for your future self. When you're applying for another job, when you are asked questions at interview about your internship experience, you're gonna forget like most of what you're doing now. So make an effort to document it. And amazing, you've finished your internship. You've done well. You hopefully got paid if it's a paid internship. The final thing to do is to reflect on your experience. Write a diary style entry. What aspects of this working life did you like and not like? Did you enjoy the style of the manager? If not, why not? What kind of working relationship would you like in the future? What aspects of the job did you love? Did you like the autonomy? Did you like working in a team? Did you like the solo work? Did you hate the nine to five element? Did you like being a freelancer? This is the part that is gonna help you guide what you wanna do in the future. I have learned so much about myself and what I think I'm gonna look for in a future career, even though I don't know what that is yet. But yeah, I really hope this helped. Again, confidence is such a huge and difficult thing in the professional world especially as a younger person, especially as a minority person in, in different organisations. For example, being a woman in a very male dominated industry is not going to be the most comfortable thing. Being an ethnic minority in a predominantly white organisation, not the most comfortable thing. You are incredible, you are valuable, you have so much to offer and I really hope that you can one day get the job of your dreams. I really hope this helped you and let me know if you get an internship. Have an amazing rest of your day. Bye.